You're all gonna jail, talk suckers. Oh, okay, I'm sure. <laughs> I already listened to this OPRA. It's so good. <laughs> I like it. What the heck was that? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what are those two. Th I said. I can't. Whoa, that went nowhere that I thought it was gonna go. That did not go where it went at all. What a progression. Okay. I know. I'm trying to figure out who these two dudes are. They're boy. They're boyfriends. Freaking, freaking afro, right? <laughs> I think they're. I hope they're in the same unit. Oh, they definitely have to be at some way. It was an ace. Did he have a good wing spiker? No, fuck with you. That's IQ. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I say IQ as well. Oh, Ace. And that's when she realized she was gay. She'll regret it? What? Okay. <laughs> Unbox and punch him back? I don't even know if my ice will ever add something like that. I'm the same way. Okay, I might relate to this character a bit too much. Oh. <laughs> what the? What the? Heck? She had to deal with the shit end of the stick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so she's the one that made her go like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't resign. <laughs> Oh. We're gonna see the other side of her. Oh, Soon so enough. quickly. Cause I'm pretty sure that Afro guy might be a be a junior director then if that's the case. Cause he she looked like she was about to like destroy him. Damn, you are very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what? How could you tell? Well, when she put her hand on his back, I mean, a crowbar has a very, very easy shape to realize. Not the crowbar. The footprints. The footprint. Yeah, I'm trying to figure. Oh, when she was checking his ankle. Gosh, she's that 
Detail? Yeah, Gosh. because you can look at the foot markings on the bottom of sneakers to see what print it made. Every oh, sole has a different one. Oh, I wouldn't remember shit like that. Hell no. What? It's amazing. I know. I never knew that myself until I took um forensic science. <laughs> Provided they get some sleep and time. <laughs> no, I don't think they need that. Maybe a stiff drink before. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I guess. Well, you ever had those? Yes. Police would come to your schools and give you a talking to. Yes. And for some reason, I remember distinctly, distinctly, there was one whose, like, hair looked like a fucking pudding cup. So when he was like, oh, look at our uniform, this is what you usually have when you're a police. When he let me touch his hat, I immediately, like, touched his head. <laughs> I was like, Hi. And all I can remember is the horror on his face when he's just like this little kid was like touching my slowly departing hair. <laughs> I mean, I don't like kids either. Shit. Oh, look at him. He's getting a discount. He's getting a discount, sir. You know, I should be surprised by how calm he is, but at the same time, he already got caught. Not even that. He's actually just like, hey, I'm I'm probably I've been thinking about just turning myself in. So he's kind of he's he's already pretty cooperative. <laughs> right. Oh, these guys are from the criminal affairs. Uh, OK, OK, that explains a lot. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he's right, he's right. <laughs> Imagine oh. if they gave that criminal a job afterwards, after a few eps. And he didn't, he didn't like, you know, kill anyone. So this is a different, this is a, right. he's it's a like separate murder. level. Yeah. 
Like, I'd probably just be very inconvenienced by his yeah. appearance. That's that's the most I feel. Yeah. A minor I inconvenience. Like, I just want to, like, slap him in the face once and then make him pay for my stuff again. But besides that, it seems like an okay-ish person. Yeah. And with the majority of uh, places in Japan, from what I see, it's similar to, like, America, where a lot of stuff, if you get breaking in or broken into, people have insurances to cover it. So yeah. it really is just a minor inconvenience. <laughs> That's how I look at the guy. Yeah, he was a, if he was like a killer, a this very, is a separate story. Very, like, one hour phone call I have to have with my insurance or some shit. Oh, Ooh, just chill. Oh, okay. Chill. <laughs> what type no, of... You... Okay. Yeah, you were spouting some profanity no that's some demonic shit he's like bitch your asshole and make it eat it like cheese yeah Y'all are punching bag most of the times, but over here we call y'all pigs. <laughs> Cause yeah, our police is kind of yeah. no comment. <laughs> I don't want to delve into Yo, police. Yo, what the anymore. hell? What? Oof. Fifteen thousand yen. Yeah. That memory of that day resurfaces. That's like early money trauma. Oh, it's your mom? Is that his mom? Oh my god. Yo, they were just talking about getting sued, right? If that's her mom, I'm gonna fucking let No. No, because she would have at least said something. She would have been like. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the <laughs> I think she likes going over the bad scenarios in her head because there's no way in hell. <laughs> You're good, girl. Spring day, yeah. Uh, right. Oh. Oh, what? Ow. For them? Don't you literally have fantasies about giving someone a ticket? A ticket. <sighs> and then just ruining their day. <laughs> because she's getting shit talked to, though, so her one is kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> the other girl but was just like dragged into it by her father because her she didn't want it to be. He didn't want her to work in a sweatshop. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh. Here's the thing, I really like this MC because we have like the same mental brain cells where 
You don't I got they, well, a, and a Japan is similar to the UK, <laughs> right? Where they just don't have guns. That's they oh. have. The, that's the same, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's actually a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's a huge difference. That we we should do, but we don't, and here we are. Again, no commento. <laughs> Oh, I will say everything out of my ass. He may not, but I will. I must. I must stay away from the from American police stuff. Because I have nowhere to speak in that terms. Oh, I know. I'll go with UK police. UK police. Because that's what I know. Yeah, because that's what you mostly know. And now, all of a sudden, you're in the Yee states. Convey to them the feelings that you truly have. この人は全国あちこちで何十件の悪送しか、いわゆる大泥棒です。私はその人に泥棒する町はどうやって決めるのですかと聞いてみました。<laughs> oh, it's because they're viewed as, yeah, yeah. The kids are a reflection of the town. Right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know what's funny about that? That creates like a bunch of Karens throughout the neighborhood. Yeah, it does. A sheer ton of Karens. Maybe not the type that goes in World Star, but the type that will tattletail on your bitch ass for anything. No, and I will tattletale on their bitch asses too. It's like, oh, well, she got sick with what? Well, ammonia because she ended up kissing a fish on her vacation. I, I wouldn't care. He just did the pamphlet. <laughs> because I made a promise to myself once I turned over the age of 18. Does not matter your age, you are catching these goddamn hands. I chose no violence as soon as I came to this country. I chose all the violence. I because was raised in this country. What do you expect? I have guns. People have guns. I do not mess with anything. My road yeah. rage has subsided. My yeah, but has all subsided. <laughs> my hands have now been softened, and nothing is ever going to catch these hands. <laughs> yeah, I have been through several lockdowns because of school shooters, and now here we are. I'm just oh, conditioned dude. to throw hands on every given moment. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's actually so sad. And that's but... why we balance each other out. Because you may not, but I, I oh so definitely will. Wait, what? <laughs> what did you say? Well, what type of stars are you looking at? No, <laughs> I'm a chill. <laughs> What did you do, old man? Of course. Gavelin? This is what you call a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> How how expensive? Oh boy. <laughs> Actually that that is kind of funny though. You they now <laughs> know everyone's business in your family that you never knew because you're not. Yeah, 
a police officer and just like it's like would i get charged for this you better hope that shit is off the record and your family member isn't a snitch <laughs> He's a normal dad that's that's that talks a lot a little too much. <laughs> yeah. Must be similar to the feeling that you get whenever, like, for healthcare workers, you made an impact on someone's life, indirectly or directly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I'm not sure if I told you about this, but I got a letter in the mail from someone I helped while on my internship. It's amazing. Yeah, it came out of nowhere, and I definitely didn't expect it because I played a very small part while I thought. <laughs> Give him another ticket. Fuck him up, yeah! <laughs> Fuck those people oh, up. Don't wear a seatbelt. Catch these fines. <laughs> <laughs> you speeding nearby a police officer? Catch these fines. Okay. No, catch these tasers. The fuck? <laughs> Catch this baton. Catch this fine. I like it. I like it. This show is actually pretty neat. Wanna go to the next up? I don't mind. Actually, cool. Hi, Kozan. Zomi, episode two. Let's get it. Police in a pod. Episode two. I want to meet the Afro guy soon. <laughs> we already know Red Guy's a detective for the police affairs. Oh, yep. A shitty one, though. <laughs> Called out by the person you're um, persecuting. <laughs> right. But smoking cigarettes make me cool. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how to put this lightly, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that is kind of funny. If someone flirts with you on duty, you can just say now one one. <laughs> What's your emergency? That probably made her day. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm getting checked <laughs> for smoking. <laughs> My God. And then that would be my complete nightmare because I look like a child <laughs> and I'm borderline about to be 21. I got that baby face too. Yeah. Baby face cool. 
It's annoying. It do I like, be. I like it better than, you know, like an older than my age, to be honest. Yeah. It just means I'll age like fine wine. And you know what? That's a good thing. For me, I'm probably going to look similar. And then at some point in my, at some point randomly, I'm just going to go from like looking like a baby face to suddenly like a geezer. No in between. <laughs> No in between. Yeah. Cause your fucking conqueror jeans are gonna come through for like the big time. You got the Elvis hair. Uh uh. Excuse me? So they're actually talking about this bullshit. Good. So there are creators that address it. The number one Pokemon master. Uh, oh. Oh, God. Uh, Oh my, oh. <laughs> Should I ask her what it means? He slipped the beat on the pool and the sledge. Uh, do, 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 do. No. He destroyed me with his sledgehammer and left a hole so fucking big that a rabbit could live in it. Yes, I have been destroyed. Sorry. <laughs> you got it. Master your sexual terminology. Do you feel like you got that mastered? Because me, I feel like I know way too much and I can't unlearn. So here we are. I don't know the difference between an uke and a seme. Does that tell you anything? Uh, it just tells you, you don't know BL that much. <laughs> That's sexual terminology, right? Yeah, it is. But only for I don't know that. Then I probably don't you know it's right straight here. People going like. Like, Michael is my uke. It's like, no. <laughs> no one says that. And if they do, I will judge them completely. This <laughs> is... So he's getting paid good money. Okay. You trying to make money, eh? He's basically a physical OnlyFans. <laughs> He does. There's no way. Do none of them know sexual terminology? They, they have to be pretending. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. Why are you saying that? Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Your daughter, your your underage yeah. daughter, is going around with older men doing fetishes. Yeah, and you're worried about her clothes. As as long as she's asking, she's okay. But I 
There's more to this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think she knows. Because I'm getting the similar situation from this, and I know where it's going. What? She's being trafficked, I believe. No, it's not even traffic. It's straight raped. Oh, God. Yeah. Ooh. I had a feeling it was going in this direction. I don't know. When I saw that man in the southern cutaway, I kind of just knew. So mom goes out to work at nights and the guy rapes the girl? Yeah. So as much as she loves her mother, she still allows that guy to be in their house. Not like she can say something. Oof. That's intense. How did she pick it up? How did she pick up on that? Damn. It's small body language, but you can tell. Because we were, lit I was, lit at least I was, literally that girl, the rookie police officer. Yeah, and I was totally more of the veteran girl and i don't know if that's a bad thing or not i don't know how the hell you pick that up yeah like what did you oh shit maybe it's the women intuition the, the women intuition no just using my own experience intuition i guess You were speaking so casually about it too. That's the scary. That's the sad thing. Yeah, because that's how some people deflect. They become more hypersexual to combat the feelings of "Is this all I'm for?" And that doesn't happen in all cases, but it's one of the ways that can come out. Does that mean that guy's a pedophile? Yes, he is a whole ass pedophile. Oh god, this is going to be even crazier. <laughs> what happened to the guy? I think he should be in... I think the guy should be in, uh, you know... Being Here's raped the in the jail. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or maybe killed in a jail. <laughs> yeah, oh, but the God. Is that rapists never really get convicted. And when they do, it's only for a few months. That so though so I have two gripes. There's there's two there's two different types of people that I, I'm so confused why they get such low sentences. Pedophiles, <laughs> rapists, and animal abusers. Because of the why? fact that it's entwined in our history so much and the fact that it's a male dominated world that a lot of males and powers preferences are younger animal like, abusers yeah even animal abusers i don't know why I, I, that shit makes no sense that oh makes no God. fucking sense either because i, I saw this one report recently that a person was killing cats dogs posting it on the internet Full proof, only going to jail for seven years with the chance of parolement after three. Yeah. And the funny thing is, literally killing animals is a, is a sign that it's going to freaking escalate. Like, there's a whole yes. documentary yes. <laughs> called Don't Fuck Psycho With Cats. That's literally like, 
hey, you should probably check out this dude. He's the number one sign of a psychopath and a serial killer are killing freaking animals. Right. (laughs) They shouldn't be allowed back in society. Well, not only that, but fucking animals, zoophilia. That even has a less charge, mostly in Florida, and I don't understand how. Florida's a different beast in itself. (laughs) Florida's a completely different beast. Even among Americans. America's like, already a different beast, but Florida is a fucking... there because now I feel obligated to visit. But if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would ever step foot. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oh, you look pretty intense. Yeah, you look like a puppy out of hell. Oh, I guess you went to the academy. Maybe she's just the one decent person that doesn't look like she's about to kill him (laughs) in the the criminal affairs. Yeah. She is the most approachable. Yeah. I think I sort of have that, but it depends. (laughs) There's always multiple bosses, but there's a show boss and then there's everyone else. Oh, yeah. There is. There is one boss I really, really am okay with. She's the one that constantly looks out for me and my mother so that we can get voluntary time off. So we can leave our shift early and have enough sleep for the morning. So whenever he hears over the radio, oh, VTO, she would let me and my mother know, like, straight off the bat. <laughs> God, talking mad shit. Huh? Talking mad shit. You think she's hot stuff with that haircut? Stop with the, the criminal affairs people. No. <laughs> they have pride. Yeah, and I got power. I stay hungry, I devour. Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. I like you. <laughs> two extremes literally two extremes it is cause I may like girls but there's no way in hell I would willingly go to an all girls school I don't want to have my period fucking syncing up with any of the girls I don't want any of that no <laughs> <laughs> Accents, <laughs> line of duty. Oh, the biggest, the the. I think the best privilege to have in your most like happiest times is to literally have the ability to think of nothing absolutely nothing yeah it is a privilege so good the funny thing is i was thinking about that earlier because i 
I don't know what caused me to think about it, but I thought about the phrase ignorance is bliss. And I'm like, yes. now that I think about it, why would people willingly want to be ignorant? Doesn't knowledge make us better? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sometimes the lack of knowledge is what gives true happiness in certain cases. Yeah, but a lot of white people have fucking ignorance all the time and look how just really that's why i say sometimes not sometimes. all not not all exceptions <laughs> not not all rules have exceptions Percent. and not all exceptions have rules you know yeah yeah 50 percent with the percentage of random. don't even put it into a percentage it's like literally case by case i like percentages you ain't getting percentages from stereotypes that i can <laughs> okay fair enough It's not even that. It sounds it's like a yak experience. <laughs> it really sounds like a fucking yak <laughs> Oh, Uh, maybe uh, she'll find you <laughs> maybe she'll find you I don't 100, think so. yen. <laughs> I feel like the pompadour just makes him look like a the head of investigations. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Come in. Hey. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. Thanks, Pompadour. You're cool. Yeah. St <laughs> Don't call him a gorilla. <laughs> Please. <laughs> he was kind of a badass, even before the other girl came. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aww. They are the. If I was to actually compare them, they are kind of like the Shinsengumi. Yeah. <laughs> Crude men with lots of pride. <laughs> lots of pride. The looks in a out good for way, their though. own. Yeah. Yeah, in a good way. In a good way. Definitely looks <laughs> out for their own. <laughs> I can't, you can't save her from her. Yeah, you really can't. Once there's a girl's night, you can't back out. Google image that I I don't even know who that dude is. I should do this. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Look at them in their low police car, their little pod. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this series is pretty nice. I like it because it's, it's like still comedic, shows, uh, but it hits good, good beats, good topics. I think it would be a great show to like actually do a podcast on awkwardly enough. Because it goes into yeah. some pretty, pretty deep topics that you can, like, just grab clips of and work with it. Yeah. Episode three. Down. Bye. <laughs> you going to put it, cocksucker? Oh. Cocksucker? Sir? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
What about your registration? Oh, pumpkin. Oh, Afro. Afro guy. Oh, he a government employee. Completely the opposite of what I thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He's part of com oh. criminal affairs. Okay. Like <laughs> that's gonna make it better. Oh, he is the ace. Oh. <laughs> oh, so they're like that. rivals. Yeah, they're like rivals. It's like, <laughs> okay, so apparently you're the ace, but y'all don't you're have the that ace. Good I guess you're ball. trash really? now. Yeah. Maybe if the a if the previous ace didn't fucking get demoted, <laughs> talk bad shit. It's like, listen, at least I don't sit in the office where all I do is stress. <laughs> I'm out on the town. I can get myself a Starbucks coffee while you disintegrate. What? What? Oh? What the heck? She's about to commit a... a to, to just see someone? What the heck? <laughs> Is that what I just read? That didn't make sense. I think so. She's about to commit a crime just so she can talk to someone in the police. What the fuck? I mean, it's a good way to do it, but what crime are they doing? What nature, yeah. <laughs> Self arrest. She's holding a gun? <laughs> oh, they got the suits. Um, hurry and go fetch him. Really? You know, maybe with my mentality, maybe it's a good thing I, I never applied to be a police officer. <laughs> I'd be way too passive to be a police officer. I would be the... I'm too Honestly, much of a bitch. <laughs> that's, let's just say that. Real I'm too life, much of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Real life, I am a bitch until you actually talk to me. If you actually try talking to me, um, yeah, no. <laughs> but most of the time, I seem pleasant. Okay, so what's so complicated about you stealing? She gets no attention from any of her family members, so she tries to make up for it by committing. <laughs> yes, so. But if you just want to change stuff up, why would you think of shoplifting? It's the only way to talk oh, to a cute, to a cute guy. I've been living. Oh, okay. So her husband passed.
Yeah, the kids are uh, out living with other family the now. Yep. Husband kicked the bucket. I'm guessing she had no hobbies besides that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. They're either older women or just males of every age. Oh, and if you want to spice it up, you make you make the female um villain a lesbian. <laughs> Uh. Say that for yourself. <laughs> exactly. Oh no, she's just repressed. That's why she wanted to see him. <laughs> I think she just right <laughs> what? I remember that happening to a lot when I was younger um, I would basically just be thrown to my grandparents constantly <laughs> parents would be doing shit like you know date nights and stuff I'd just yeah. be thrown to the grandparents for like the weekend disappear yeah, because of the fact that I didn't live in the state where a lot of my family's from. Um, when my parents did date nights, I actually went with um my church family when I was younger. So I would stay over their house a lot, even for the weekend, even if it wasn't for a date night. It's just yeah, I sure. felt chill there and I felt chill at my parents' place, so they let me just switch between. That is actually pretty good. Right yes. Yeah. That was a good play. Yeah, because I I was I grew up as an only child. I didn't have many friends. So they were my buddies. That looks so good. God, I'm getting throwbacks to freaking the old crap that I used to eat in the UK. God. <laughs> yeah. There was it's a just kind of making me miss called, summer, uh, feels... digestives. God. Digestives? Yeah. I fucking miss those. Mm. What I really miss. Um... <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
You're pretty cool, Afro. I thought you were going to okay, be Okay, so he's the chill one. It's just that they got a rival relationship. <laughs> that means she sucks with guns, too. <laughs> You're you're probably like ninety nine percent not using guns <laughs> in yeah. this in most of your work. I hope. Yeah, I sure hope so. Mm, that katsu looks good. Over. Over. <laughs> Corpse Hill do a note. <laughs> right. It's looking like a deformed face. <laughs> 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 okay, what about you, sperm donor? <laughs> You're technically a tax parasite, too. Right. <laughs> but you're a tax Most benefit for your parents. <laughs> in general, you still live under your parents. You're still a parasite. Shit. <laughs> oh. Well, more like he's still a minor. That's why I call him a parasite. There we go. Damn, <laughs> this relationship is... This bridge is like nearly completely burnt between the mother and the do rag of a man. <laughs> yeah. You're just that disappointed at this point. Yeah. I like to believe that she at least tried, but you can only do so much. You can only beat your kids' ass. I mean, that's no joke. Oh my god, we're going into exam mark. Is it an autopsy? Oh, yeah. Uh, because, yeah, they expect they inspect the initial crime scene, so they may not be able to identify fully all of the reasons why they died. That's mostly for a mortician, but they can make a deductive. So this is just like the initial report for the detectives to work with something, right? Mm hmm. Uh -huh. That's a long time. Oh, shoot. Hmm? What? Oh. oh. The grandpa. Wait. No way. That would be so fucked mm -hmm. up. If they killed, basically, the man. Right. Either that Not or that a awkward argument started and he just R.I.P.'d. He just hit the, like, hit the hay. He hit, 
he hit the respawn button on his own life. That's like, Pretty much. I feel like my grandfather did the same. <laughs> Just like okay. I swear, dude. Bye -bye. I swear, dude. When you're at the end and you're like at the peaking, I've I've witnessed people that could just like turn it off and on at will. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, they can only turn it off once. You know what I mean? But you know they can turn it. <laughs> they can like they can kind of <laughs> they can kind of borderline and then they could keep it on, or they could just yeah. go off. Yeah. That's what I mean. God, make it sound like people could just resurrect themselves casually. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, technically, I did. I was asleep for like three days. <laughs> That's how long it took for Jesus to resurrect. So I guess I resurrected. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the things I will not that I will not miss about working in the work. Do they just like excrete everything they got? Yeah. That's usually how it works because once your body shuts down, everything else shuts down. So everything has to come out. Good thing your brain is mentally gone that it won't be embarrassing. <laughs> At least of my problems would be whether it's embarrassing. <laughs> that would be mine. Because I don't like, I don't like the feeling of that shit. No, oh, the social anxiety, post death. <laughs> <laughs> Me getting anxiety, anxiety beyond my body. Shit, I would be. It's an out of body anxiety. I would be so pissed. What? It's just a big ass bullet? Nah. Hmm. Who do you think the guy in the white is? Uh. No clue. Would you come with us? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it probably was natural then. Just had to. I'm not getting questioned or anything, right? Yeah, no. Hey, Just on pain a kind respect. of brief, a kind of positive is now that they are no longer having to take care of the dad, the the grandpa. Maybe they can join the dad and be together. Maybe. You could always rent out the house. Yeah. Sell it. Either that or. She goes and he stays. Oh. That's true. I, I seen it. He was taken care of. Yeah. Oh, oh that's nice. Okay, this this hits way too close to home now. Ugh. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh. Look at her hands, dude. Look at her hands. <sighs> Just like what we learned from Blue Period, the rough, beaten hands of a of a mom that takes care of her family. Right. Ugh. And then it finally dawned on you that, oh yeah, this parental figure I've been having to listen to, they're they're a person. Yeah, they got they got a personality. They got feelings, goals, oh. shit. God, just because you never went into painting. No, fuck with you. Stop, I'll stop. What? <laughs> but no, what she was saying about that is so true. Because to say the least, just take care of the peop 
people that you care about personally. Who the fuck? Because they'll be way happier than dealing with it through a hospital. <laughs> hey man. It was a very small thing, but gosh, could change could change the outlook of a person significantly. Yeah. It's just I guess people find it hard to find their parents as like people with actual feelings sometimes, but when it does hit you, it's just like fuck. It's like fool. I've been a bitch ass this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> what have I been doing? Smoking and loitering, basically, around <laughs> for no damn reason. Like, I wasn't even part of the Tollman gang. Like, I didn't. I don't no, even gain anything from this. No, I'm the worst thing is, is that, like, over here in America, in some school systems, if you skip school, um, like the parents have to deal with that shit, and they're the ones for um, who's most likely going to be arrested because you didn't attend. For negligence, parental yes. negligence. Yeah, Oof, even gosh. though they probably sometimes they don't even know. Oh, by the way, after this episode, we finally caught up. Oh, oh we did. Yeah, flew by, flew by. It it did. But it probably helps since I didn't fall asleep this time around. Oh, yeah. That's a big help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally uh, finished moving? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah, once I, like, um, put away my clothes, I'll show you my room a little bit. And it seems like Joel is going to visit at some point once everything clears out over by him. So it will be my first time meeting this dudes. A dog? A dog! Give me the... Give me the doggo. Give me the dog! Oh. Damn. So cool. <laughs> That's me. Hello, dog. Bark, bark. Oh, so he's like, um, he's a practical ace. Yeah. But not a. <laughs> not like the ace that we normally get. I like that. I'd rather have a practical ace than a fucking book ace that can't do anything practical. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't say that I'm an ace of anything important, but I am sure the ace of your heart. Uh -huh. Oh ho ho ho! Got uh -huh. him! Fuck this dog! No. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Always obey dog. Why? Why? Why dog? Why not food? <laughs> uh, only I can make that joke. Go. <laughs> uh Go, dog sama. You know, I get offended for your own race. <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> even. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what she got for hell and back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
He's not actually chasing coming. anyone, though. So, yeah, I'm guessing right. it is probably just excitement. It's not like you put drugs on his face and he's like, either trying that to, or to all of a sudden they just find a dead body. Oh, no. They're going to do a Logan Paul. No. Yo. I forgot that even happened. It's been a while back. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny they're all like uh, what you call it all the civil servants are like in a boot camp um, I thought it was just police officers no nah, firefighters all right now where's my my um EMTs <laughs> EMTs would be here Wait. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> I guess it would make sense for EMTs to be here too. Yeah, it would make sense. They got some serious physical necessities to be able to do their job. Yeah. But firefighters, I feel like they get definitely get the bulk of it. Because they may not be investigating that every day, but who would willingly want to run into flames? They're dealing with the most intense no matter what. <laughs> If they're going out, it's for something that's a 10 out of 10 in difficulty. Yeah. No 10 shot. out of 10 difficulty. And I feel like it's low-key, like, faster. <laughs> well, no. Actually, it takes longer because of smoke, smoke inhalation. Gosh. I'm sorry. I kind, I kind of surprised myself with how much I talk about this with knowledge and I, I, I don't know why. You can steal some of that furniture and get some money off of it if you gave it to a metal yard. 26. Oh. Yo! Are they the same person? <laughs> There's so many violations happening. There's so many violations happening. Oh god. Now you just need to go past a, a freeway and see jaywalkers. <laughs> what else do you need? <laughs> no, they just need to see a deer illegally go across the street without turning. Or looking. <laughs> I mean, technically they do have to do police ports for like deers and wild animals when they get ran over. Oh, that's a... That's a... Uh, I was always thinking to myself, who the heck takes care of those sad um, victims? I'm pretty sure it's either them or DMV, but um, but it's one of the two. No, I will ball my eyes out. I don't care. <laughs> Why? They probably didn't think of it because they can pee in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Can they shit in the woods? No, don't answer that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, damn it. I mean, Jeez. considering the fact that I stepped on a pile of shit, like, outside of my own school, and it was human, <laughs> yeah, no. 
Like legit, mm-hmm. I I was like outside near like the soccer fields. I went. Did you just say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> pee to your heart's content, girl. Just just pee, whip it out, and hope for the best. <laughs> But I can't say much because I had to pee behind the police car mu- once, so. It's one of those things where if animals w- can do it, we can. I haven't gotten to the situation where I've had to do it hmm. outside of an actual toilet yet, so I feel blessed right now. <laughs> And there's me that's like, I have been on too many road trips where I can't handle my piss. So, yeah, I gotta go. I hold it to the death. <laughs> I can't do that because here's the thing. If you hold it for too long, then it starts to, yeah. <laughs> and I also had a problem, which I overcame recently. Like, not recently, but like, I'm guessing. You overcame like it? 15 or 14, I'm guessing. Uh, basically like middle high school, early high school, where essentially I could not pee in a toilet unless it was a toilet in my house. I was the same way, but instead of it just being pee, it it was always just number two. I, I could not do it outside of my house. Yeah. So imagine like a normal school day. I held that bitch till the very... <laughs> <laughs> I held oh. that bitch until three something and then I s- then had to go to the bus, hold that bitch in until I finally get to the door. And then when you know when you finally reach the end point and you could feel or sense yeah. the toilet, mm-hmm. you, it's something lets loose and you're like, yeah. oh no, stop! I don't know what, <laughs> like in the back, in like my bladder that just goes like, yeah, you can let go now, but oh. It's like, we're not even in the house, you fuck. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you have to like, just sort of stop your whole body from moving. Because you don't <laughs> want any piss to come out. Because <laughs> there have been times where I stood like a JoJo stand or some shit. Just so that <laughs> it wouldn't come out. Yeah, can you imagine so. the exact pose? It's the mm. Jotaro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we have a, any other friends? No! We're police officers. You think we have lights? The fifth match, you have a public marathon. It's a ma- 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 marathon. <laughs> Why are they so motivated? <laughs> Why is he on fire? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Okay, so we're all collectively confused on traffic. <laughs> He's like, wait, so he's... It's like, so if he overtook him, but the light said, oh... (laughs) As long as you don't hit a person or pass a stop light or stop sign, I think you'll be okay. There's like micro laws being broken in front of a detective and the detective's just like, I don't know, chief. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know about that, chief. What you talking about? Oh, shit. What the damn hell did you do? Time it. Time it. Might as well depend on these fingers. Well, I think she can see that now. Wait, isn't that the same guy who was going to school? (laughs) 
<laughs> so they know. Oh gosh, the suspect's there. Now you gotta add in the lopes to try to get them come over. Now you're chasing the guy. Yeah, I think traffic control would have been better. But at the same time, with the pile up she created, never mind. They're just like, yay, marathon. <laughs> oh god social pressures mixed with your job duty yeah combined. and then just deep down knowing that you don't give a fuck either way <laughs> you over six feet that's... tall oh Throw the baton! Hit him! <laughs> okay. I don't know what you put in your coffee, but pass me the link. Oh shit. No, oh, damn you, kids. Why were you there? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna fall? <laughs> GG. <laughs> Oh my god, that was oh. it. Oh my god. They made it it made it feel like it, he was like a killer or something. No. <laughs> damn it. He's just dodging a fucking ticket. God damn it. Ooh. Look, she did her own marathon. <laughs> yeah. 
hey, at least it seems like her stamina went up from the camp. Is he about to run? Go, Toto chan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have a feeling he wouldn't be the runner? <laughs> yeah. So humble. What the hell? Humble beginnings. Oh. <laughs> Look at how proud of him they are. Oh. <laughs> it was a dream coming true. The sweet potato liquor. Hmm. <laughs> Out like a light. <laughs> Like a light, a eh? like a light. <laughs> First, she booked it. Actually, she's been running this whole episode, actually. Very much. No wonder she, she's so tired. Yeah, she booked it with Dog Sama and then she booked it against this ticket, <laughs> ticket, avoider. <laughs> and then fell down the entire, like, <laughs> damn. What do you call those? Yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called either. Overpass? Damn, I do not know. But no, I'm glad we started watching Police in the Pod. Yay, we finally caught up to Police in the Pod. Hey. Oh, I just realized that's a little nod to Peas in the Pod. <laughs> Look at them in their summer outfits <laughs> we still have this guy to meet we have oh, this yeah. old man in the corner to meet we have these gorillas to meet <laughs> 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 this show's wild <laughs> 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 